What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Once Human Closed Beta Test. Today, we are picking up right where we left off last time. Uh, I literally just made my house. We're out in the open world now. We've got a lot to see and a lot to do. Um, we've got our journey here, which is pretty cool. I was talking about this towards the end of the last episode where um, here you can see all your objectives. You can get motorcycles. You can do, looks like, I guess, hives, which are, yeah, I guess co-op dungeons in a way. Team them up to form a short-term cooperation. There's a lot of stuff here, um, and it's pretty cool so far. I've only spent about an, a little bit over an hour uh, doing the tutorial, getting out into the world, building my first base. I mean, you can see there's tons of other bases people have already made in this starting area, and I'm sure there's plenty more to see. So, as always, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving a like on this video makes a huge difference. I really do appreciate all the support. If we hit those 20 likes-ish, I'll go ahead and put out another episode. Uh, this one, I've kind of recorded back-to-back -back with the previous one, so just go a little bit longer to see how much is here, and then from there, we'll, we'll test the waters and see it was worth checking out for another one. So we're going to make our way over to this monolith ruin to search for supplies. Um, let's see. I also I think my stomach was empty. So let's actually use this. There we go. Max HP and melee damage boost. Nice. Well done, 47. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm not live right now, Brad, thank you for the follow there. I appreciate that. Yeah, the way I have my my system set up, it it just has all the alerts and everything. So it's funny because the last video I did of this, uh, somebody also subbed to YouTube during that. So I was like, hey, thanks, thanks for the sub there. But so far, this this game's been pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of like controlled. Imagine a world of controlled combined with the division with some survival aspects. It's been pretty interesting. Explore the Overlook Town. Let's see. Is that. Um, yes. Yeah, so there are main objectives, but then it looks like you also, as we've been exploring, or as I've been exploring, there's other cities. Um, look for the steerical crate, activate the rift anchor, and find weapons and gear. We could go over there first, actually. Right now, the only weapon that I currently have is pretty much this crossbow. So we'll see if we end up getting, like, a rifle or something. You do have to make or craft ammo, though, if you do. The heck is that guy doing? Or is that a zombie? I think that's a zombie. It is. But for another... Uh, for a second there, I thought that was another player. Player just, like, praising the sun. Or something like that. Do a little bit of looting here. Got a jump rope, metal scrap. I do have a flashlight that I could use, but the thing I've noticed with the flashlight is it's a little bit brighter than needed. So, kind of holding on to it. For when it's actually dark out. I really hope we find some better pants here, too. Because I've been rocking this uh, start. I mean, hey. Uh, my character is definitely rocking it right now. But some actual pants would be nice. Oh, there's another player running that down there. I did say it last time. But right now, I, I am in a PvE mode. There is PvP matches that you can do. Uh, but personally, I kind of, I, I like the, the PvE for this aspect. I don't want to get too sweaty. So it, it works for me. But it is cool that there's an option to choose either or. 
Got a syringe. Okay. Definitely finding a lot of stuff here. I got a turret. A lot of the, the building aspect kind of reminds me a good amount of like Fallout 76. Because you can see every, players' worlds and camp, camps and all that. It's cool. Did they just wave to me? It's pretty... Eh, I mean, it's a little dark in here, but it's still easy to see. Grab all that. And we gotta find the Rosetta supply box in the area. It looks like it's over here. There's that other player again. Alarm clock. Okay. Investigate the entrance to the monolith ruin. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can pick, pick up items from a little bit further away. Mary. I forgot that you can do that. Oh, let's see if I can talk to Mary. Talking to a strange woman in front of you. Get your hands off my stuff. Uh. You always introduce. I didn't see your name on it. <laughs> You're pretty cocky for someone who doesn't even have a weapon. Hold on. Is that a cradle on your back? Interesting. I thought I was the only Mayfly left. Since so we're both Mayflies, what's your name? I'm Mary. I came here to investigate oh, a deviation geez. that's been causing issues. I think it's connected to a recently reopened monolith nearby. Been chasing a deviation too. Don't tell me you're going to try and take on a powerful deviation barehanded. Even an ordinary deviant could tear you apart right now. For a mayfly, you're pretty inexperienced, aren't you? I'm going to give you a blueprint. Use it to make yourself a gun. While you're doing that, I have other matters to attend to. Once you're done, come find me in Deadsville. It's the nearest survivor settlement. We can plan our next steps from there. After all, two heads are better than one. True. Hey, that works. Nice. So now we can so go make this weapon. Part, yet I can't remember. What is that? My memory's been patchy ever since Matsuko revived me. Just to be safe, it's better not to share everything we know with that woman. Especially about Matsuku. That blueprint is rock solid, though. We can use it to make. Oh, are these? Up. Wait, are these memories? Let's check your memetics and start by building a geared workbench. Wait. Is this like a memory? As in, like. You know how in Dark Souls you can leave stuff on the ground? It looks like that's what players are doing here. You can leave like notes on the ground. I wonder if they're Is that is that what that is? Uh it's not letting me do this one here. Oh wait, there's another thing up there though. Right, now it's actually kind of dark here. Ugh. Did I get it? Oh, I did. Oh, complete the season goal. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, now it's actually a little dark. Ripple in space time detected. Oh, that's how you summon V. 
Oh, you know what's funny too? I didn't really say it last time, but V, uh, I'm pretty sure the guy in Devil May Cry 5 was V and he was also a raven, which is kind of funny. It, it keeps making me think of that. And open up the survival manual. Oh, so this will give you all the tutorials again. Rift Anchor is an entry point. It's an important medium for unlocking a uh, Rift Entity Rift within the monolith. By unlocking a sufficient number of Rift Anchors, you can enter the Rift to challenge the Rift Entity. Each region has its own Rift Anchor, which are scattered throughout the large settlements in the region. Okay. Do we need to return to our personal territory? Recommended to automatically teleport there. Sure, I'll do that. I'll try it. I could, I, I was about to go to one of the like houses nearby, but hey, if we can teleport, I'll take that too. The disassembly bench will let you take objects you've scavenged and break them down into useful materials. Okay, and disassemble. Are these all just like, yeah, it looks like, so let's do select all. Disassemble. Yeah, that was all junk. Go to construction mode and build the, the... What is it? Your workbench in your territory. Your workbench. Oh, we need more copper ingots. Oh, okay. I think I can actually make a decent amount more. Craft all these. Yeah, I'll have plenty <laughs> after that. And then go to construction mode and build the supplies workbench in your territory. <gasps> I can't believe that. The person is taking my, my copper. <laughs> build the supplies workbench in your territory. Okay. Let's try seeing if I have enough for that one. Now I need more logs for that. All right. While that's crafting, let's go get some log. It seems like, so from my very early on perspective, of course, it seems like this game is not too tedious with crafting and uh, all of that. It's pretty simple to, to collect the items and then put it together. But there's also a decent amount to be able to go out and explore. Like there's towns you can go through the houses. Oh, uh, another thing I, I completely forgot about it. But the reason this game started to take off a little bit more was it released at the same exact time that the day before came out and I remember everyone was talking about it because like hey you know how the day before has failed on this 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 and this there's this other game called once human uh, that is actually it's got a fully open world it's fully survival it's got some decent shooting it's got all types of different enemy types I forgot that that's how I initially found out about it. All right, let's make a, yeah, we'll make like, sure, 47. More than we're gonna need, but that's fine. Gonna take like four minutes. Can I collect the amount? Okay, cool. Oh, that's so nice. That is such a great quality of life not having to wait for everything to complete in order to collect it if there's a few that are done you can collect those that is actually really cool i like that all right so we need to make the supplies workbench like this drop that there and i need 30 more copper so then we'll be good to make that thing. 
Okay. If I do, I have enough to uh, let's see if I can make another floor or something. Structures. Personally, I do wish that more games had some of blue blueprints in a way. I'd say. Oh, we need this uh, wood ceiling. Wait, how do we make another floor then? That's a wall. There's windows. Interior. Wood foundation. Oh, it's it's just wood foundation. Oh, okay. All right, this is actually not too bad. All right, this is a little better than I expected it to be. I was getting nervous for, like, how am I going to build this out? But now that I see how this works, overlap, overlaps with collectibles. Wait, what? Oh, and I made it do that. I do one right here. Huh. All right, let's collect all these. Can I move items around? Shoot. Do you get everything back? I wonder if I break this down. All right, yeah, let's try doing that. And then let's go with, where is it? Flies workbench. It's right here. And now we can do the gear workbench that uh, right here. I mean, this is pretty much what my Fallout 76 hideout was like. If you want to make ammo, though, <laughs> you'll need to do it at a synthesis bench. Very, very simplistic. And then sometimes I would add a, you know, another floor. And there you go. This one's almost done. There it is. Craft any weapon and unlock the... Mimetic basic equip to get the MP7 submachine gun formula. Alright, so weapon craft. So the only thing we can craft right now is a shotgun and this pistol. Insufficient materials. They don't, so not everything's translated yet. I mean, it's it's in closed beta, so I get it. You know, there's going to be stuff like that not available. Armor crafting. Wait, did I get new pants? No way. Don't tell me I got new pants and I never equipped them. Oh, no. I didn't. Is it, where does it tell you the materials that you need for it? Oh, so you select the items like this. Oh, okay, cool. So we, what? Oh, you have to build it piece by piece. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So you put it all together like that. Crafted. Tier one. I'll equip that as my primary. Sweet. Um, all right, let's try one second chat.
Okay. So now we can unlock the Mimetic, I think it was. I'm trying to remember how you do that. Did I? Cosmetic? What? Wait, there's transmog too? Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh, I did not know that there was transmog. Yeah, that's really cool. Different jackets that you can get. Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's so cool. You can get like a one arm. <laughs> Why does it actually have good physics? Renegade. Oh, that looks cool. Renegade helmet. Oh my God. You can get one of those purge. I actually have one of these things. <laughs> I feel like that kind of fits the game though. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I had no idea that was the thing. That's the only thing that we have available. The rest of these are locked. There's even weapon. Oh, dude, that's so cool. All right. Anyways, uh, cradle. I did get a few of these, so we have to unlock. Hold on, what was it? Basic equip and get the MP7 submachine gun formula. So we'll go here. Guessing it's right under basic gear. Intermediate gear. Basic equip. I don't think it would be under here, would it be? Rainwater collection system. I feel like it would be under this thing, the crafting menu. Lock the memetic meme tick basic equip and get the MP7 submachine gun formula. All right, let's try it. Looking one more time. Basic. Maybe it's basic gear. I have a feeling it might be basic gear. Yep, it is. Yep. I think it, maybe it's a translation issue or something. Basic gear instead of basic equip. Yep, that just unlocks so much stuff to do there. Okay. Uh, create any bullet and supplies workbench. There's pistol ammo, shotgun ammo, SMG... So we just made the shotgun, so we're going to want to make what we can here. 24 seconds to make all of that. Not too bad. Well, let me craft any gear now. Armor crafting. Insufficient materials. Is that hide? Hunting animals. Cool. So if we if we hunted some animals, we'd be able to do that. Good. Collect I'm all sure that. Need that weapon soon enough. Level four. I just noticed a teleportation tower was activated at Deadsville. Did Mary do that? Whoever it was, we can use it to teleport straight there. Oh, that's awesome! Have been tried out. Activating teleportation towers will uh -oh. let us get places much faster. 
Wait. And avoid any dangers along the way. Welcome back, level six. But then this one says level two. Uh, all right. Hold on, I kind of want to see. Oh, the welcome back one is something else. Hold the fix on screen. I want, how do I activate that reward? I just want to see what it does. Place pin. No, I don't want to place the pin. No, nope. no. Nope. Take that pin away. Okay, now I'm placing that. Okay, delete. Delete. Multiple journeys. Got some stuff to collect here. Energy links. Pathfinder. Oh, so you have journey and then you have tasks. Okay, I see. Oh, this one's recommending level six, though. Let me actually go. Yeah, let's go explore. Well, I'll do that, but I want to get to levels. I'll do that before. Um, Yeah, we'll go explore these towns and see what's available here because I haven't gotten all of this. I haven't gotten all this yet, so. And any animals on the way, too. I'm going to try getting because right now. I uh, I still don't have any good pants. The shooting feels great. I I really do like that. Like how it feels so far. Explore overlook town. Find the mysterious treasures. Activate the rift anchor. And find weapon and gear crates. Oh, maybe we don't even need to then. Oh, it's dark in here. Heck. Okay, nothing in here. I'm going to save my good ammo for right now. Oh, there's something. I do like that when you find something, it highlights. Like, it's very obvious where it is. It's hard to miss. Oh, is this going to be gear? If it's blue like that? Uh, antibiotic. Blue. Blue. Try going over to this. I've got some enemies that spawned in. Fabric. I love that you don't have to get like super close to items too. Like as long as it highlights and you can see that, you can just pick it up. That is very convenient. Because it kind of like floats to you. What the heck? V popped up for a second there. I also love that the game really just shows you the objectives in the area. Like, hey, if you search here, you're going to be able to find... A rift anchor, you're going to be able to find a weapon. I, this game kind of reminds me a little bit of Day Z in a way. Just like with a whole different atmosphere. There's another room down here. Uh, this might be empty. Yep. Let's try this one. Oh, there we go.
Definitely some glitches here and there. Without a doubt. I, I see them. But that's why it is closed beta. I mean, it's completely free to try right now um, before the whole requiring a key is needed. So didn't have to pay anything to jump into this today. Just literally downloaded the launcher, selected a server, created my character, and here we are. This game is going to be free to play though as well so not really like there's a whole requirement needed in that aspect let's see yeah that's so cool I'm pretty sure that's got to be other characters or other players I don't know how you do the how do you do emotes I just want to see You bind aim. I'm going to ch actually change that. To, oh, wait, no. Uh, press. Over the shoulder. I think I want to actually switch the two. Yeah. That way I can do over the shoulder just by pressing. And then if I press and hold, I can do aim down sights. That's how I have it set for... Um, What's the game? I'm drawing a blank on. Wait. Oh, that's another player. I thought that was an enemy coming after me. <laughs> so T is camp. Space time. What the? Did they just activate something? Uh... Yo! That was sick! Oh, jeez. That's so cool that they just walked up, they activated that, and then like me and two other players just nearby just saw that. And here we go. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. I collected all my arrows back. Was that the Rift Anchor that did that? All while I was just trying to find some... <laughs> how to do emotes. <laughs> yeah, that that's awesome how that just happened, like, without me even doing anything. All right, where was, where, where was I at? Um, interactions. Interact with target. Team. Quick pin. Items, story, there's fishing, sit, I'm assuming it, it might be like press and hold tab. No, but it's not here though, that's the thing, that like throws me off. Chat channels. Public crisis events. Securing securement silos. Wish machine. Huh. Beat that again.
I hear someone on their bike. Okay. That's that's pretty cool. We got a new uh, loot box. Hold on one second. Apparently there was just a... Uh, well, for those of you guys watching this after the fact, apparently there was just an, like an earthquake or something. So that was felt from like Pennsylvania all the way up to like New York. And it shook some houses, but I, I didn't feel anything my, myself, but a bunch of, I. Uh, friends just te texted in our group chat like hey did anyone just feel that like 10 minutes ago uh, I didn't feel anything myself so it's interesting all right so we found one weapon and gear crates uh one out of two we still got to activate the rift and find the mis we found the mysterious treasures. What is this? Oh. It, oh, it'll close the door on myself. Jeez. So 4.8 magnitude uh, earthquake in New Jersey and New York. Oh, gr that's gross. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So, we oh, I found the second one. Now we just need to activate the uh, the rift spot, which I guess that's what that is. Yeah, activate the rift overlooking the town. Go do that. Oh, okay. So if you activate the rift, it just, that's all it does. Oh, I thought it was going to like start an event or something like that. I didn't realize that it was just that. What the heck? <gasps> this game is really cool though. Like, I don't know. Something about it has been awesome so far. Check journey. 
Probably got some items or items to claim here. Level five. Got some arrow. All right. So we completed this district then. Activate rewards. Dude, maybe if I just go back to this again, I can get those rewards because it doesn't have a check mark on it. So rift anchor. Well, oh, it's it does actually. Never mind. Okay, let's go over here. Go to this one, and then after there, I'll probably be level enough to go down to this because I just hit five. That guy's level 12. And if he's level 12 and he already has something like that, then I wonder, like, it must be pretty easy to get a motorcycle then. Oh, there's somebody else's motorcycle. Keep walking there. Guess we'll follow the road for right now. I wonder how far the main story or like this objective actually goes to. Like, that's the one thing with survival games is I feel like a lot of times their storylines or their um, I'm trying to think of how to put it. A lot of times their storylines are just short lived where it's it's only purpose is to get you used to the world. And then after that, it just ends. Like, it just stops and it's like, okay, now that you've done our little story, uh, in quotations, now it's time to just go live out your life. Which can be cool. I mean, if there's environments and, like, locations that you can go to and clear out towns and find objectives, uh, and then there's dungeons and boss fights, then that's, hey, that's awesome. And I'm totally on board with that. Um, but yeah. I, I also love that the parts that we've explored so far on the map, it shows you objectives that you have not completed yet. So there's a little bit of guidance. Like, it's not, like, 100%. It doesn't tell you where those items are, but it's just when you get to this general area, it'll say, hey, there's a chest in here. There's a, like, there's special things that you can find. I find that that really useful and I, I always love stuff like that. And here we are. So now we got up to Drewville. It's cool that there, there's Rotten Manor, there's Citrus County. I wonder how many players can be in one server too. Or if it like switches to instance based at any point. I'm really not sure how this works. I have not used the shotgun yet. But right now, I'm just going to keep using my... My crossbow. Seems like it's pretty silent, too. So we don't have to worry too much about, like... Getting spotted or anything like that. Which I like. Okay, so we got to activate the rift, which honestly, I'll do that first. Now I, now I know how simple it is to do. What's crazy is I haven't seen any animals yet. I did when I first came into the area, but I haven't found any since then. Found a better chess piece. 
I'm still wearing these pants, man. <laughs> Alright, there's a chest. There's at least something here. So, uh, reminds me a little bit about like State of Decay as well, when you could go to different areas and cities and go explore inside them too. Kind of gives me that kind of vibe. Purification, republication. Uh, I'm pressing F to interact with it, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah. We're going up to the next floor. Oh my god, it's very thirsty apparently. There's an item up there. Trash can. Oh, you can actually check the trash cans. Oh, this is a first aid kit or emergency med kit. Check this storage gunpowder. I hear an enemy, but I don't see anything. Oh, there he goes. He's like coming through the ground. It is a little bit like glitchy and stuff finding these items and like trying to pick them up because sometimes they don't like highlight right away. And it takes a second for it to show up. Oh. The heck is that? Oh no. It didn't. Sh oh, I feel so bad. I just killed a fawn, man. That's crazy. I'm so sorry. Why did this thing just freak out like that? I'm so sorry. We got some hide from that. Well. There's another guy praising the sun. It looks like you, you must get your arrows back because I, I haven't crafted any and right now I still have like 30-ish. Oh, oh, my bad. That's so cool. Like as we're running around too, we see other people like doing the same exploration. We still gotta find the mystical crate and oh, up down here. Mystical crate and the one other weapon and gear crate. What did I find? A new? Oh, I found a bone knife. It's cool. On some glue.
All right, pretty sure I came through this building so far. Start going through here. Oh, wait, I already did this one too. Can you go up onto the next floor of this? Oh, you can. Hold on. Yeah, I, I missed those steps. Aha. Probably the weapon or gear crate. Oh, never mind. What about on the roof? Uh oh. All right, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Oh no! Oh, I thought we. I thought we were gonna bump each other off. <laughs> I got nervous for a second there. Okay, that's still nothing. Huh. Wait, what is that? Last suit. There it is. That's the mystical crate. Okay, there's something down there, too. Uh, I'm going to try jumping down. Ouch. Leg slightly injured due to fall. Let me use that. Tool durability depleted. There's one more weapon or crate nearby. What is this? Oh, uh, it's more copper ore. Yeah, the atmosphere for this atmosphere for this game is great so far. It's not all too difficult either. I mean, so far the enemies that we've gone up against have been pretty easy or low level, but I could go to higher level areas as well. So, I mean, I'm level five right now in this level two area, trying to clear it out. All right, now it's actually dark. I want to try to find this one more. Uh... Oh. One more weapon and gear crate. So that way we're done with this area. Um. Oh. I don't know if it has a specific color to it. Like, this seems like it's just been items every time I come and pick it up. Yeah, it's like gunpowder. I'm pretty sure this is where I walk into the town too. And the weapon and gear crate. Got some acid there. Once again, guys, if you guys do enjoy this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. And like I said, if we hit those 20 likes on like the first or second episode, I'll go ahead and put out some more because this is this has been pretty cool so far. Um, I really wish I found some good pants, but but not yet, I guess. I'm really just looking for something shining here. That's so funny. Come on.
come on it's got to be somewhere around here right oh. there must be something where more enemies come out at night because there's definitely a lot of them now god wait can i grab is that a light bulb That's funny. I was literally able to like turn it on and off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Come on, man. Where's the final crate? What the heck is that? Oh, I thought that I thought the rock was attached to its head down there. I thought it was like a giant thing. Try going this way. Oh, is this house part of the district? Oh, it might be in here. Completed a season objective. Oh. <laughs> All right, is this it? Let's see. Nope. That is not it. Can we climb the ladder? All right, sun's coming up a little bit. Come on. You can't tell me that this isn't it. That ladder looks perfectly climbable. But maybe it's not. Whoa, did somebody that's somebody's house right there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no way. That's actually so cool. I'll take this. Alright, I'm gonna turn around and go back. I'll look for it a little bit longer. I wanted to get the hide there. Dude, that's crazy. That's such a cool spot to put that house. Maybe you really can't just climb it. I guess not. Awkward Reaper. I've searched that house so many times. Come on. I mean, I could do one more sweep of everything, right? I could. Systematically. You know, one thing I haven't done is this. Let me try. But does this only show you thing? Like, I don't know if it shows you items in a building. I think it might just be like past events. Oh, it does. It did highlight that though. Oh, it highlights this. Yeah, I need to use that more often. Uh, what the heck? Nice. 
Definitely got a decent amount more combat in this run than my last. Especially while exploring these worlds. Alright, let's do one more sweep of these. Uh, is there any... It does show me that something's in here. Is that an enemy, though? The emergency kid. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> There is a lot of stuff to find. All right, before we go over there, let me just check. Okay. Bit thirsty. This is like a normal house you can go into, yeah. There's something in here? I don't think I went to this roof. Oh, no, I did go to this roof. I jumped to it from a previous one. Yeah, it's got to be on the roofs. Is that something right there? Yep, there it is. That's it. That's got to be it. If that's not it, I don't know what it is. And now that I'm looking at this thing, I don't think I came in this area. Wow. Oh my God, I did. Oh, come on. Here we go. Yep, there it is. Weapon crate. Got it. All right, let's uh, let's go back to our house. Cool. Wasn't too bad there. Made some. I uh, got to explore two little towns. Made some good progress. Uh, let me actually see what uh, weapons we just collected too. Oh, new crossbow. Does it still use arrows? The damage is way higher. Um, but the fire rate's lower. Makes sense. All right, craft gear. Let's see if I can make myself some pants now. I might not have enough. No, I don't think I do. Raid pants, craft. Oh, if I get one hide, I have enough. All right, let's see if I can find one animal. I know I've seen them. Oh, there's one. Stay right there. Perfect. Plus one hide. Perfect. All right, let's go see if I can craft this now. Oh, oops. We probably hit the next level as well. So, me do craft gear. Oh, so it doesn't use all your items until you assign it. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can do like craft, craft, craft. And then now it'll craft it. Finally, some raid pants. There we go. I actually look put together now. 
Besides my mask, can I actually make a new one? What is this? Electronic accessory? Oh, I can make this, though. Has subject... Wait, is that the same thing? Is it the same thing? I think it is. You're kidding. Oh, my God. It's, it it does have a little bit better protection, though. Okay? So it's, it, it's similar, but it's got a little bit better protection. Blueprints. Mods. Oh, we have a pistol modifier now. That was pretty cool. All right, let's see what items we can... Or, uh... Journey. Uh, let me open up that. Weapon excellence. Unlock. Oh, so this is a specific one that you have to uh, unlock. Formula for garage. I do have 12 of them available. Click here to enter the uh, specialization. Unselected. Oh, uh, every five levels you unlock a new specialization. Choose one of four. Jump booster, garden gloves. Skilled mechanic. Trap and sentry turret. Trap and sentry durability plus 50%. Yield, uh, pickaxe and joy, plus 25% yield when mining copper or tin, uh, and that doubles plus 5%, plus 50% yield at night. You can double jump for 30 seconds. Five to 12% chance to double the amount of seeds you gather. I mean, all of these seem pretty cool. I am part of me wants to go double jump yeah i'm gonna do double jump although the moonlight jump or the other one seems kind of cool oh you can reset your specialization nodes you're a bit hungry nice and there's weather here how about that weather all right cool um, let's see what else we got here. Aluminum, infrastructure, crafting. Where would the garage be at? Oh, it's under, uh, this thing. Ooh, I see. Wood supports. All right, I've got eight left. I'll do rain water collecting, stoves, cooking. Water storage, maybe. We got one more left. Oh, man. Actually, let me take, take back the water storage, and I'm going to put that towards recovering HP. Adrenaline shots. Yeah. Do this. Multiple tasks complete. Build a garage, craft a motorcycle. That's so cool. There, there's so many things you can do. I, I really do enjoy this so far. I, I think there's a lot here with this game. But this is actually where we're going to end with this episode. So if you guys enjoyed this, again, leaving a like on it makes a huge difference. If we do hit 20 likes or more, I'll go ahead and put out another episode. Um, personally, I kind of want to play more. So I might in the next like few days or so uh, just pick up where we're at and do it anyways but there are a few other things i want to try today so uh just keep on lookout for it thank you as always for watching join the live stream i go live every weekday at 6 p.m eastern uh and then weekends are 9 a.m 1 30 
and 6 p.m. Eastern, as long as nothing's going on. All announcements every time I go live or post a video is always in the Discord, so feel free to join and say what's up. And uh, for now, that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you all in the next one. Peace.